I am death. I am always with you. We've all wondered what happens when we die. Will we return? Will we reincarnate? Or will we just end up as worm food? Today, we're digging a fresh grave for some of our favorite characters who died, but lived. Life after death, experiences in film. Beware, this video may include spoilers. If you choose to continue, let us know which characters we missed. The Spirit from The Spirit. A private detective killed in a shootout and left for dead. A cunning enemy who experimented on his body with an immortality serum. City cop Denny Coat is given a second chance at life. As The Spirit, a fedora-toting, small mass crime fighter. Dedicated to saving his city from corruption. My city, she's always there for me. Risen from the afterlife as an experiment by its arch nemesis, the octopus, <laughs> the spirit becomes a covert vigilante, using his immortality to fight crime with nothing to lose. The spirit shows us how a second chance at life can strengthen our resolve to do the right thing. I could be the city's protector, it's spirit. The surprises go beyond the film itself. Did you know that William Friedkin was initially interested in adapting the spirit in the mid-70s? You're talking crazy. Dracula from Dracula 2000. Dead and locked away for thousands of years, Count Dracula gets a shot at modern life. After grave robbers wake him up, ditching the biblical beard and opting for a 90s chic blazer. Cursed to live forever as punishment for his sins. You cannot imagine what I've had to endure. He lives life after death to the fullest. Getting back at his old enemies like Van Helsing. You know not the depths. My vengeance. Turning impressionable young women into his vampire bride and avoiding the sun as much as possible. SPF 30 just isn't going to cut it. Uncle Fester from the Adams family. The only person to get lost in the Bermuda Triangle and live is the Adams family's beloved Fest. In addition to Amelia Earhart, of course, we got you, conspiracy theorists. He was presumed dead for so many years, his brother Gomez had given up hope. I'm beginning to think my brother truly is lost. But when Fester returns, it's like he never left. Damn, it's good to have you back. Except for the amnesia. Remember that fateful night? Come on, old man. Speaking of memory loss, who forgot that Danny DeVito, Bob Hoskins, and Sir Anthony Hopkins all turned down the role of Uncle Fester? That explains Fester's identity crisis. Not Gordon. Fester. Fester truly comes back to life when he remembers who he is and learns the importance of sticking up for family. And after kicking out the con artist who took advantage of his amnesia, he's ready to come back to his true family and light up their lives. Goldie from Sin City. Some say, an old man dies, a little girl lives. And sometimes it's the other way around. An old man lives and a young woman dies. And then the old man gets with her identical twin sister? Or is it her? You can't be Goldie. Goldie's dead. The beautiful and courageous Goldie, one of the old town girls of Sin City, ends up at the wrong place at the wrong time. After a night with ex-convict Marv, she's murdered by a couple of slimy cannibals. He keeps the heads, he eats the rest. Intent on keeping their secret hidden. Avenging her death, Marv gets help from someone he thought he'd never see again. Goldie. Except it's her identical twin, Wendy, who then calls herself Goldie. You can call me Goldie. Talk about a family affair. They're alike in every way, giving Marv a second chance to say goodbye to Goldie through Wendy, as though Goldie had come back to life. Oh, I love you, Goldie. Alice from Resident Evil. The ultimate survivor. Alice has endured amnesia, viral infection, experimentation, zombie dogs, uncomfortable corsets, and death. Is there anything she can't do? Caught in a nuclear blast and impaled, Alice has been reanimated more times than she can count, not only as herself, but as thousands of cloned copies. Thrust into a never-ending war and forced to live so many lives, she's continually learning new things about herself, her powers, and what other innovative ways she can be killed by the Umbrella Corporation. The only thing she didn't learn was her name, as she had to wait until the end credits to see it. Jigsaw from Saul. With a terminal cancer diagnosis, he has an inoperable frontal lobe tumor, and a penchant for creepy black capes, John Kramer, AKA Jigsaw, was always destined for greatness. I want to play a game. 
fueled by his desire to outlive everyone around him, executing his twisted sense of justice through deadly traps and mind games. Will you murder a mother and her child to save yourself? He achieves immortality by transforming himself into a symbol, or rather puppet, making sure his legacy lives on. The choice is yours. He sure got his hooked, with Saw becoming one of the most profitable horror films of all time. Helped by his recruited team of like-minded sociopaths, rules of our game have been made very clear. Jigsaw's vision continues even after his death, and with a motto like, Sick of people who don't appreciate their blessings. How can you go wrong? Game over. Ah! What are some other characters that died but live? Comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe.